As a man, you need to hear this. Stop chasing women who have less value to offer you than you have to offer them. What do I mean? You are chasing a woman with a used vagina, a disrespectful mouth, friends that are bad influences, and a woman who herself, she has bad manners. Now, if she is coming with a used vagina, the least that she could offer you is respect, peace of mind, kind words, nourishment, and obedience to your word. And fellas, don't feel bad when y'all hear me say things like a woman should be obedient because she obeys the law, doesn't she? So she can obey her man. But anyway, you are the one offering these women more value than they could possibly ever offer you. When are y'all gonna realize that y'all are the prize? Let them chase you. Number one, only little ass boys measure their manhood based off of how women can be a servitude to, to them. Number two, Instead of trivializing body parts and talking about used vaginas, if you ain't got the equipment to get the job done, just say that. Number three, you are not the law. Well, if she obey the law, she can obey you. That's some textbook misogynistic type shit. You can go Google if you don't know what I'm talking about. Number four, therapy will take you a long way. You see what I'm saying? A lot of us grown ass men have little hurt boys inside of us still. And if you ain't focusing on healing that little boy inside of you, you're gonna do and say little shit you saying right now. You embarrassing yourself. Number five, just because you say it in a low tone with some motivational music behind you, it doesn't make it more legitimate. It just showed that you with the clownery. Number six, who hurt him for real though? Like, who hurt you? Number seven, when you talk about the value of men and women, the value according to whom and who gets to dictate and determine what that value is? Is it you? Number eight, the beginning of your video sound like you straight up out the Victorian and European period about like chastity belts and stuff. And I just think that that time period might not have been as good for you as a black man. Number nine, what I'm saying is your perspective is straight up out of some European feudalist times, bro. In conclusion, man, We Real Cool is this book written by Bell Hooks about black men and masculinity. And the first chapter is really written for you. You are lost in the sauce of plantation patriarchy and you should free yourself of master gender norms, bro.